Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a psychological thriller film, Forgotten. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Jin Sok wakes up in the car from a nightmare. He is with his mother, father, and older brother Yu Sok. They are moving to a new house. This is the first time that Jin Sok visits the house. But he wonders why it looks so familiar to him. Most of the scenes are featured in this house. It looks old and terrifying, just like the houses that are being used in horror and mystery films. Yu Sok, Jin Sok's older brother, has been an honor student since elementary school. He's a smart guy and graduates from the top elite university in Korea. He is very talented, kind, and has a competitive nature. He even has deft hands and can fix most things. He seems so perfect. Yu Sok admires his older brother a lot. A year ago, Yu Sok injured his left leg in a car accident. Despite that, his family still thinks that he is perfectly fine. The family is very busy moving and fixing the things in the new house. Jin Sok sees a room that seems off to him. It really looks weird and mysterious. He is surprised that he'll be sharing the room with his brother, for he thought that he'll be using the other room. The previous owner left some of his stuff in the room upstairs, that's why they are unable to use it. In fact, that's the mysterious room that Ji Sok was staring at a while ago. The helper from the moving company drops something on the floor. While Jin Sok is helping him in picking up the things, the helper asks him if Yu Sok is his older brother. Jin Sok answers that they really don't look alike. Yu Sok suddenly enters the room and interrupts their conversation. Are you wondering why the helper seems bothered that made him ask his age? You'll find out later, so stay tuned. The family is having dinner on a rainy day. They look like a normal and happy family. The father says that the previous owner will get his stuff next month, so his sons don't need to share in one room. Out of curiosity, Jin Sok asks his father what kind of stuff the previous owner left in the room. The father warns them not to go to the room, because the previous owner requested not to enter it, nor touch his things. Jin Sok becomes more curious about the room. Out of nowhere, the father reminds him not to skip his medication. Jin Sok suddenly hears a noise upstairs, and he guesses that it is from the mysterious room. But his family insists that they don't hear anything, and it may be the sound of the thunder. The brothers are already in the room. Yu Sok tells Jin Sok not to worry a lot about his exam, because the new house gives off good vibes to them, so he'll definitely pass it this year. Yu Sok already bids good night to his brother. Jin Sok hears a strange sound in the other room. He is really curious about it. When he is about to open the door, Yu Sok stops him and insists that he didn't hear anything. He forces Jin Sok to go outside despite the heavy rain to get some fresh air. It is raining cats and dogs. The brothers go outside to breathe some fresh air. Suddenly, the father calls Yu Sok and asks him to go back home to find something. Jin Sok witnesses that his brother is being dragged by some men. He runs very fast to save his brother, but he fails. Fortunately, he is able to remember the plate number of the car that abducted his older brother. He hurriedly goes home to tell his parents what happened, but he faints before he is able to say a word. He wakes up the next morning, and detectives come to their house to investigate. These detectives seem uninterested in the situation. Jin Sok tells them that he saw a black van with a certain plate number. But the detectives tell him that there is no black van with that plate number that exists in Korea. They even tell Jin Sok that he might be mistaken, for it was raining hard that time. All of a sudden, they mention that they heard Jin Sok is currently taking anti-anxiety medication. It seems like Jin Sok is the one being interrogated in this scene. Days have passed, and Yu Sok is still nowhere to be found. The family and the investigators are already anxious and tired of the waiting game. There is no clue, and the abductors don't even contact the family to ask for anything. Jin Sok has the same nightmare every day. In his dream, he sees a man who looks familiar to him. The man in his dream seems extremely agonized. When he is about to go back to sleep, he hears the strange sound from the other room once again. He stares at the room. The room opens, and someone gets out of it. Jin Sok is very scared because the person is coming to his room. He hides under his blanket. When he checks it, the door of the other room is closed. He thinks everything is okay, but suddenly, a woman who is wearing white clothes appears next to him. He is greatly surprised. Hold your horses, guys. It is just another nightmare. After 19 days, Yusak suddenly returns home. However, he cannot remember anything of what happened in the past days that he was missing. According to the doctor, Yusak has dissociative amnesia, that completely wiped out the painful memories from that day, 
and they need to wait until he remembers what happened. One morning, the medicine of Jin Sok falls down on the floor. Yu Sok suddenly enters the kitchen, and asks him to eat. That's why he missed taking his meds. While eating, Jin Sok asks his brother where he went last night. He saw him leave, and even heard the sound of the gate, when he stepped out. Yu Sok denies everything, and insists that it was just another dream. One night, Jin Sok fell asleep while studying. Yu Sok gets a pen, and is about to stab it in his eyes. Jin Sok suddenly wakes up, and follows his older brother. He is very surprised to see his brother smoking, because he knows he doesn't have vices. He is even surprised to see the inspectors calling his brother, boss. While tailing his brother, the inspectors see him. Things get even more complicated. Jin Sok runs for his dear life. He thought he had already escaped the inspector's hands, but his older brother catches him. Jin Sok wakes up in his room, and sees his brother. He is very surprised because he knows it was not a dream. He is sure it did happen. He runs to the toilet and hides there. He screams to Yusok, saying that he was not asleep last night, and remembers everything vividly. He tells him that he heard the sound from the mechanical pencil that he kept clicking, and made the lead fall right in front of his eyes. Yusok tries to calm him down, and insists that everything he remembers is all part of his dream. He asks if he took his medicine last night. Jin Sok remembers that he wasn't able to take it, because it fell on the floor. He calms down, takes his medicine, and apologizes to his brother. He thinks that his brother might be right, but he becomes suspicious once again, when he sees the lead of the mechanical pen on his table. He knows there is something wrong. Jin Sok tells everything to his mom. He plans to follow Yu Sok that night. In this scene, the mother looks convinced of what Jin Sok is telling her. But there is a bigger picture that will surprise you later. Just like other mystery thriller films, the start of the movie was a bit confusing. But now it is starting to make sense. That evening, he has another nightmare. He goes to the kitchen to drink water. He clearly hears his mother reporting to someone about everything he had told her. Jin Sok finally realizes that there is something wrong with his family. He tries to escape, but his father is already waiting outside. They corner Jin Sok, but he is able to escape and goes to the nearest police station. He reports to the police officers that he was confined by people, whom he thought was his family, and he was just able to escape. The officers confirm his identity. They tell him that he is already 41 years old, because he was born in 1977. But he insists that he is only 21 years old. Everything got mixed up. Jin Sok thinks it is only 1997, so he is very surprised when the officers tell him that it is already 2017. Jin Sok looks around the police station, and is surprised about the changes, including the new president as well as the latest technology. He looks in the mirror, and finds out that he looks very old, like a man in his 40s. This scene is really heartbreaking. When he finally finds out that everything he believes are all lies, this scene gave the viewers goosebumps. Many critics were surprised at how the writer gives numerous twists in the story. Jin Sok goes back to the house to find the truth. He enters the mysterious room. Finally, the man who pretends to be his brother, Yu Sok, tells him the whole story. 20 years ago, a teenage girl and her mother were both killed in their house. The family of the victims hires him to look for Jin Sok. In the flashback, it is shown that Jin Sok was abducted and tortured for him to tell the reason why he killed the family. They are not able to get the answers, because Jin Sok has already restrained his traumatic memories, and cannot remember anything at all. The psychiatrist suggests hypnotizing him back to his delighted memories in the year 1997, hoping that if they reenact the events on the night of the killing, Jin Suk might recover his memories. Everything was working well when one day, the police arrested Yu Sok for fraud. It was the night that Jin Sok saw Yu Sok being abducted. But the truth is he stayed in prison for 19 days. Going back to the present, Jin Sok tries to escape from Yu Sok. But unfortunately, he was hit by a truck, which made him remember what really happened in the year 1997. Jin Sok reminisces about the past. He is in a car with his real family. Unfortunately, they get into a car accident that kills both his parents and critically injures his brother. He did his best to earn money for his brother's surgery, but couldn't find a decent job. He tries to look for a job online when an anonymous person contacts him. He asks him to kill his wife but leave his children unharmed. In this situation, it seems like Jin Sok doesn't have any choice, but to kill someone even if it is against his will, just to save the life of his brother. How far can we go to protect the lives of those dear to us? 
is it worthy of the sacrifice? When he arrives at the house to follow the order of the anonymous person, Jin Sok's conscience kicks in. The mother and the daughter go out of the room, and scream upon seeing him. He panics and accidentally kills them. The youngest boy goes out of the room as well, but Jin Sok asks him to go back. On his way out, he sees a family picture. He is very surprised that his brother's doctor is the father of this family. There are times that life isn't going the way we planned it. Once a happy family, now wrecked, because of selfishness. Jin Sok meets the anonymous man. He is astonished to see that he is his brother's doctor. The doctor explains that the reason why he asked him to kill his wife, is to get insurance money to save his children from poverty. How evil a man can be in this way. A happy and perfect family was ruined because of the father's selfishness. He did it not to save his children, but to save himself. The doctor is really disappointed, because Jin Sok also killed his daughter. So he exclaims that Jin Sok brother should die as well. There's a confrontation. The doctor accidentally falls on the building and dies. In the present, Jin Sok wakes up lying on a hospital bed. The man who pretends to be his older brother, is now about to kill him with a poisonous syringe. He tells Jin Sok that he is the young child of the family, that he killed 20 years ago. When his family died, his relatives took all the insurance money, and left him in the orphanage. What a pity! How can they do that to a harmless child? The love of money is absolutely the root of all evil. He asks Jin Sok if his own father was the mastermind of the killings. Jin Sok takes all the responsibility, but he doesn't believe him. Jin Sok commits suicide by injecting the poisonous syringe into his body. This is how he ends his life. The young man also commits suicide by jumping off the hospital's building. Both of them reunite with their loved ones in the afterlife. At the end of the story, there is a flashback in the year 1997, when Jin Sok's family was at the park. There was a young boy who offered him a lollipop, and ran to his family. He is the young son of the doctor's family. Forgotten is the movie that captured the heart of many from the beginning until the ending, because of its twists and turns. It shows how far someone can drive himself to find the answers, that they are longing for to know. It also shows us that a person's love for money can ruin a family. It is unimaginable, that it is really happening in the real world. Even people that you trust the most, will betray you for the sake of money. Like other psychological thriller films, Forgotten requires us to hold on, and examine every clue that was given in the story. This movie keeps you guessing and wondering until the end, and that is one of the many reasons why it is unforgettable. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.